welcome back to more kingdoms how here and well today we're cooking up a little bit of roast <laughs> roast stags meat um we had a deer that ran into a house and well we had to put him down unfortunately but on the flip side we get good food out of it so i can't complain too much so we're having a really good day so far today how about y'all <laughs> hope you all are as well uh yeah so um, just a quick note for those who have been giving all of the, the support, the likes, and the love on all of the, the videos. I want to thank you very much for that. And if you enjoy this episode, I do ask that you go ahead and hit those like buttons as well as to subscribe if you have not yet done so. On that, we are out of there. Okay, so as we are waiting for this to finish up, basically we've had a bit of a technological advancement. I found an architect who can teach me the novice architect skill. I have already learned the skill and we've started building some of the stone houses. So let's show you what we've got going on here. Actually, it's starting to get a little dark out there. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and put some stuff in storage because like I said, I have been, let me go ahead and put all this in there. And okay, so yeah. How dark? Uh, we, we still got a little bit of daylight. I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. Let, let's see what we got going on. Okay, so we are good there. Those are not done yet. Those are not done yet. So it looks like everything's still got a little bit of time left on it before it's ready to harvest. I did find uh, some more cucumber seeds and some uh, wheat seeds. So now that we have wheat, we'll actually be able, one of these fields is going to be dedicated to wheat. Um, what that will allow us to do is to start making bread. So we uh, have placed the third of the stone houses, the first stone house. This is the small one room house. Um, as you can, as you can tell, as you go up the, the tech tree, let's bring this up really quick. When you're talking about houses, right? So you start with these being the most simple, the small wood, the wood house, the two level wood, and then you start getting in these being the most simple. Uh, then you have the house, wood houses with a stone base, which would be the intermediate houses. Uh, going up into these four here. And as you come up through here, you'll notice that the furnishings inside go from being things like rough rough wood and uh, split log and split timber style construction to more of a uh, refined materials. The stone is actually made out of bricks. It's not so much just raw stone and then you start getting things like fireplaces in them. Uh, you also start getting more uh, tapestries as well as rugs, a nicer bed. So it's... Uh, the, if you're looking for creature comforts, it's definitely worth upgrading. Um, for this one, you have your storage is here. It's not part of your central house, which is actually kind of nice. Now, this one, right? Because, okay, so for the first one, right? That was the first one is the small stone house. You then have a stone house, which is one floor, two rooms which is the stone house that you saw over on the other side. So we've already seen that one. Come over here, we now have this one, which is the two floors, three rooms, two, two level stone house. So you have a little storage area here on the back side. And the, kind of funny that it actually, you have access to a storeroom here but you have stairs. So I'm not quite sure how you're expected to get into the storeroom from this side. Maybe uh, they have it hinged so you can raise the stairs up and come in and grab what you need or something. I don't know. <laughs> but inside is actually pretty nice. You have a, you know, the average cooking bench here then the bench style table, I should say, for a cooking table. Uh, you do have some shelves and some storage. Come upstairs, and you have a nice fireplace. You have, a, you know, the workbench again, a, a very nice bed. And we're gonna go ahead and use this. Now, the nice thing about being the person who builds the house is that, you know, since we laid the the foundation for it and completed it, the house is ours, so we can use the beds in any of the houses that we own. 
Technically, you can use the beds in any of the houses in the game. They don't really have an ownership right now. Um, but they do have... Like, basically, you can't use the storage in the houses. Alright, so we are going to go ahead... I'm going to do a quick cut because we do need to go gather some more wood for this, this particular house. We're about not quite halfway there. Um... So yeah, we're going to have to take down like another tree or two to, to finish this up. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut and we will be right back. And we're back. So we're going to go ahead and I've picked up a little extra lumber. Um, we're going to finish this one and then we are going to take a tour. We'll start the next house. Hey, look at that. Well, that's actually, that's a rather large home. Look at this. Ew. Looks like it's actually laid out fairly well as well. Uh, maybe two fireplaces? Well, a fireplace on the first floor, a fireplace on the second floor. Nice large storeroom. Very nice, very nice. I do like the, the fact that these have lights on them. Um, yeah, so we actually... Ooh. Oh, I was hoping that was, that was usable as an actual oven. Oh. So, a nice cooking table there. Almost looks like... I don't know, almost looks like it's kind of a tavernous... Tavern-esque, I should say, uh, feel to it. So you have the bed, obviously, the bookcase again. Ooh, a little bit of system lag there. Nice view out here. You've got a uh, nice table area. This is very nice. I really like this. Really makes me wonder what the next one's going to look like. Okay, so. That is... Let's get in here really quick. We want this. Houses. Okay, so. That one is the two level. Three room. So it should be that one. All right. Yes. It says it has a cellar. Do you see a cellar? I don't see a cellar. I think it's fibbing. Let's see here. Unless they're using the old English version of a cellar, which would be this. But I don't think so because... That's two rooms, two floors, one cellar. Because see, that's two floors, three rooms. Well, I guess maybe, maybe that's what they're saying. Maybe that is what they're using it. Because the the cellar is an old. It's basically just a storage room, a dedicated storage room. So I'm guessing that is what they are using that for. But if that was true. This one had a dedicated uh, storage room as well, but it doesn't say it has a cellar here. So maybe it's supposed to have another floor. Um, but we're just not seeing it yet. Uh, nothing there. Let me check up here just to make sure. Because, you know, it is possible I'm missing something, but doesn't look like it. Okay. So moving on, <laughs> we'll go, we'll go check uh, the next one and see how that one does. Because I was kind of interested to see how they were going to do a cellar on, uh, for these houses when they, uh, okay, when they don't allow you to terraform. So, okay, that's a big old house. Look at this thing. Alright, so we can actually place this pretty much anywhere we want, it looks like. Yes, we're going to build it here. Why? Because we can. Now this thing takes 40 logs. Um, I had basically 14 on me, so now we have 13 because I had to use the last log on that one. I just realized. So that has a smokestack there. We have a smokestack back here. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing. 
So eventually, this is going to be an oven then. It just doesn't look like it has the uh, the interactivity hook on it. So that'll be the oven, and then you have an actual fireplace. Okay, that makes sense. The cellar still doesn't, but I do think that this is their their version of the cellar. Uh, they're just basically cold room storage kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do another quick break. We're going to go ahead and chop down a few more trees, because it's going to take uh, about two trees worth of lumber at my skill level to get enough wood for this. So, uh, yeah, we will <laughs> be right back. And we're back once more. So, um, just wanted to show everybody what we were, what we've got going on. Okay, so we've got 14 logs, right? Since uh, at my current skill gather my gathering level for lumber specifically, I pull two two logs every time I harvest. Um, but I wanted to show you this. If you happen to see what looks like it almost looks like a graphic corruption on the ground here. Um, but it's basically just a dark shadow. You gather that if you've got the, uh, the gardening skill and that's your wild onions. Since we were looking for them for a while, I wanted to make sure everybody knew what they look like now that we found them. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get this place finished. I should end up with one extra log. Yep. There we go. And I should have, yep. One log left. Okay. That is a rather impressive stone house. I like it. All right. So now, did we actually not have an exter an external storage? Oh no, it's on this side, right? So you have a really nice bay window there. You've got that's going to be the cellar, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good sized storage space, actually. It'd be interesting to see how. Um, once they get the inventory system, like a, an actual inventory system in the game, how much the uh, the size of the, the storage area will impact how much you can store within the, the house. So, very nice. We have a cooking table. We have the, I think that is a slightly different model of fireplace. You have the shielded stairs going up. And you have another storage area here. So I'm guessing um, this is where your overflow storage is going to come into it. So let's head upstairs. Ah, see, we do have the working oven in this one. <laughs> nice. More storage space. This is really nice. I think this is going to become my, uh, my new permanent home. We may build another one of these on the other side of, of the town, so. And then obviously the bedroom area with even more storage that you can't use yet. <laughs> but um, amazing views out of this place. I do like the fact that we have the workbenches, like the uh, the small uh, desks and things. It's a, a nice space. I mean, this is much, much larger than a house in the uh, the time period would have been, but you know, it's fantasy, it's fine. Would rather they uh, had some more environmental sounds as well, so that you would have wood, like the sound of you walking on wood and not dirt. But we can break, we can make bread. In order to use it, we need two flour. In order to get the flour, we need uh, the wheat, which is currently growing in the garden. But we need to get the wheat going so that we can actually get uh, more wheat planted. Uh, so all of the, the first couple of harvests of wheat are going to be just getting enough seed to uh, basically make enough bread to go around so but yeah so those are the houses that are in the game so far so wow it actually made pretty good time now one of the things I didn't show you is one of the buildings that I can't build yet but I was able to finish this is the um, the larger blacksmith house. Let's go into construction. It's going to be manufacturing. So it's this one. This is the actual smithy. Um, as you can see, I can't create it because I'm not a novice blacksmith. But uh, these are the only two buildings I can't build are the small smith, which I did show you in the earlier housing episode. And then this one is the actual smithy. This is the bigger of the buildings, obviously. So you have the anvil out front. You have a smelt furnace out here. Uh, I think that's everything outside, right? 
And then inside is just the basic storage. So if I could build one of these, um, I would be able to use the storage in here, but I can't, but I do have the work desk in here, which allows you to do all of the woods as well as leather. Um, so if you are playing this on your own, I would probably say as the game exists right now, if you want, if you want to get into the crafting stuff, I would say probably try to get the, the smithy instead of the small in the, instead of the small smith or the woodworker shack because the woodworker shack allows you to do the same thing that you can at any work table um so if you're going to do a building in the you know in the uh, idea of being as economical as possible try and build the smith because you get the anvil you get the furnace and just show you what you can do here at the furnace you can do iron ingots you can make iron blanks which you use to do uh, iron tools and weapons steel ingots that you convert into steel uh, blanks which make steel weapons and tools you know your different iron or iron and steel arrows a pickaxe and then you start getting into the metal armors as well right so you need to be a blacksmith apprentice to make any of these and then eventually um, as the game develops further, oops, let me get out of here really quick. You should be able to start making uh, heavy armors later on in game uh, once they get that far that far into development. Now, for the weapons for blacksmithing, here's where you get an interesting little mini game. If you notice, you have a design here for you know the weapon that you're looking at, one one-handed iron dagger. Now you can change this over to steel or iron. And this will change what you need in order to make it, right? So in order to make this, you have to be a blacksmith apprentice for either item. And then you either need an a iron blank, with, which would give you a weapon with an attack rating of five, or a steel blank with an attack rating of nine. The only thing that would change is the material type. But what you can do is you can change the blade types. So this is type one, type two, and you notice nothing else is changing, it's just the style. So you can actually make unique weapons. You can change the length with the scroll, and as you can see here, as you adjust the uh, slider, it'll tell you what perk you need in order to make it. You need to be at least a blacksmith to make everything up to basically attack rating 21. So if we change the blades, so yeah, but it's an interesting combination of what you can do and what you can get away with. Uh, you can change the cross guards. And again, as long as you, ha once you figure out the length of the blade, the only thing that matters is what skill you need in order to make that blade length. Um, you can change the handle types and then you can change the pummels as well and depending again on how far you take that pummel will depend on the statistics for the weapon well i should say the handle and then you can change your pummel style as well um so yeah it's an interesting little game i mean you can you can make literally you can literally make custom weapons like this um and with the, given the variations that you can make between let's see here and we shorten that down. Oh, it's not gonna let me shorten it down because of the length of the handle. Can we shorten it there? Yeah. So up to a certain point, when you get to a certain point in length, it goes to a minimum blade length as well. So yeah, um, it's an interesting system. I'm actually really having some fun with it and I'm thinking that blacksmithing is going to be my next skill. Uh, I do have, let me go through here really quick, just show you the skills that we do have. Uh, this one, yes. So we have digging so that we can actually harvest stone. We have gardener and herbalist so that we can plant and uh, use the plants. We can basically turn them into seeds. Chopper is the wood cutting skill. Benchman is a woodworking skill. The scholar gives you bonus XP, uh, which is actually a good product, a uh, good experience line to go down or skill line to go down um, because you will get ex the additional experience points. And I think you at higher level start getting additional skill points. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> but it does help you raise your XP levels much, much faster. 
Uh, worker allows you to start building basic homes. Taskmaster gets you a little bit more advanced building. The novice architect obviously gets you into the higher tier stuff. And then there is an, ar an architect skill, but the architect skill does not have any blueprints um, against it right now. So it doesn't do you any good in this stage of development to actually go out and get the, the top tier skills because they don't do anything for you. Um, the trader allows you to get to build the small shops. You also get brace breaks. And then the mine worker allows you to actually harvest the stone, not just uh, harvesting dirt. So, but yeah, um, like I said, the game itself, I'm having a lot of fun with. It is an interesting game, um, but it, it is very, very early development still. And which is kind of unfortunate because I would like to see a little bit more come out of this game, but it'll be interesting to watch this game mature. Um, it is a game that has been in early access for quite some time and they've actually, they have actually uh, done a re-release because originally there was a small storyline associated to the game and that was taken out in favor of other things. And I can't say that it was a bad decision, honestly. Um, really, really enjoying what they've got. Now, we just need them to actually put some storyline in and some objectives. <laughs> we have ourselves a game. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go get some sleep. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, like I said earlier, make sure you hit those like buttons. If you uh, have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the section below. <laughs> mm, pardon me. Frog in the throat. Uh, the reason we ask people to, to do the subscribes and likes and everything is not only does it help the channel to grow, it's a very easy way to let us know as content creators that you're enjoying the content. And well, that's what's important. So anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day, have a terrific week, and we will see you back here next time for more Kingdoms. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, it's time to get some sleep. <laughs>